you have this big platform in many ways that inspires people's curiosity about physics and yeah. mathematics. Right. Now, and I'm one of those people. Well, and, great. But then you start using a lot of words that I don't understand. And or like I might know them, but I don't understand. And what's unclear to me, if I'm supposed to be listening to those words, or if it's just, if this is one of those technical things that's intended for a very small community, or if I'm supposed to actually take those words and start, you know, a multi-year study, not not a serious study, but a, the kind of study when you, you're interested in learning about machine learning, for example, or any kind of discipline. That's where I'm a little bit confused. So you you speak beautifully about ideas. You often reveal the beauty in mathematics, in geometry. And I'm unclear in what are the steps I should be taking. I, I'm curious, how can I explore? How can I play with something? How can I play with these ideas right. and, and, and enjoy the beauty of not necessarily understanding the depth of a, th a theory that you're presenting, but start to share in the beauty. Uh, as opposed to sharing and, and enjoying the beauty of just the way, the passion with which you speak, which is in itself fun uh, to listen to, but also uh, starting to be able to understand some aspects of this theory that I can enjoy it to, uh, and start to build an intuition. What the heck we're even talking about? Because you're basically saying we need to throw a lot of our ideas of, of uh, views of the universe out. And I'm trying to find accessible ways in. Okay. Long, not in this conversation. No, I appreciate that. So one of the things that I've done is I've, I've picked on one paragraph from Edward Witten. Mm -hmm. And I've said, this is the paragraph. If I, if I could only take one paragraph with me, this is the one I'd take. And it's almost all in prose, not in equations. And he says, look, this is, this is our knowledge of the universe at its deepest level. And he was writing this during the 1980s. And he has three separate points that constitute our deepest knowledge. And those three points refer to equations. One to the Einstein field equation, one to the Dirac equation, and one to the Yang-Mills-Maxwell equation. Now, one thing I would do is take a look at that paragraph and say, okay, what do these three lines mean? Like it's a finite amount of verbiage. You can write down every word that you don't know. Beautiful. And you, you can say, what do I think? Done. Now, young man. Yes. There's a beautiful wall in Stony Brook, New York, built by someone who I know you will interview named Jim Simons. And Jim Simons, <laughs> he's not the artist, but he's the guy who funded it. Yeah. World's greatest hedge fund manager. And on that wall contain the three equations that Witten refers to in that paragraph. And so that is the transmission from the paragraph or graph to the wall. Now that wall needs an owner's manual, which Roger Penrose has uh, written called The Road to Reality. And let's call that the tome. Mm -hmm. So this is the subject of the so-called graph wall tome project that is going on in our Discord server and our general group around the portal community, which is how do you take something that purports in one paragraph to say what the deepest understanding man has of the universe in which he lives. It's memorialized on a wall, which nobody knows about, which is an incredibly gorgeous piece of, uh, of art. And that was written up in a book, which is, has been written for no man, right? Maybe, maybe it's for a woman, I don't know, but no, <laughs> no one should be able to read this book because either you're a professional and you know a lot of this book, in which case it's kind of a refresher to see how Roger thinks about these things. Or you don't even know that this book is a self-contained uh, invitation to understanding our deepest nature. So I would say, find yourself in the graph wall tome transmission sequence and join the graph wall tome project if that's of interest. 